We are back. Another episode of the Falcons franchise. We got a team ri rivalry meet. Re oh my god. We have a team meeting rivalry rematch. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right. We got Grady Jerry. We got Kyle Pitts, Melvin Gordon, Mr. Grant, Jalen Phillips. We just leave the Saints. Their players will have some good stats this game. Our whole goal to win. Apparently, also sweep the Saints. I care less about sweeping any team, but I mean, if it happens, it happens. I care about winning. So I guess technically beating them both times would fulfill both goals, but you know. Uh, we did have some practice squad players get signed, apparently, which does suck a bit, but, I mean, we still got our solid guys. We'll give our guys some upgrades. Brandon Armstead seems solid. <laughs> He is 25, though, nearly. Then we have Aaron Cash. Apparently, he's number 18, even though we already have a number 18. But who are the guys that got signed? We had Marcus Claiborne, Gregory Randolph, and Troy Rivers. So, congrats to those guys. They will now hopefully be on an active roster, and hopefully EA is not screwing me over by just having them sign the guys and then instantly, you know, put them on their practice squad. Well, we only have guys two sides to sign. Or not. I can't uh, control what the CPUs do in this game, as you know. You have to your strategy. You might as well get that out of the way. They're middle of the pack in rushing. But passing wise, we're gonna probably we're gonna we're gonna defend the inside. Actually. I gotta get closer to the screen. 66 to 61. Yeah, we're gonna defend the inside run. And then defensively, they do solid. Uh, they have a solid defense. I think we're gonna throw it medium against them now. And as normal, best defense, worst offense. We can never find an in between. Are we looking at any injuries, though? No. Completely healthy. Jalen Hurts played a very good game last week. Very surprising game. Maybe our intimidation worked. We said, hey, we're about done with you. You better you better start playing good or you're, you're done. And here we are. Wesley and Gordon, the, the one-two punch we have. They did struggle a bit, but... It's okay. We're both 87 overalls going into this game. I don't believe we can win the or take over the division this week. Kind of a freeway battle at the moment between us, the Panthers, and the Bucks. Uh, 
And at the moment, we are the only team uh, out of those three to have a bye week. I don't know about the Saints. I wasn't paying attention to their record. But who knows? Panthers might have a bye this week. As they have a superstar guy to return. And wow. Okay. That's oh, not how you want to start. Ian Book having an average season. Eleven to ten, uh, you know, percentage. Uh, is AJ Terrell the beautiful breakup pass? I don't know who that was too. I want to say Camaro. But at the same time, why are they playing him as a wideout? They have an X Factor and a superstar. I never knew that. As Book. Finds his man, that's Michael Thomas, and is Aikman Nogane going to catch him? No, he is not, and that is going to be an early touchdown for Michael Thomas and the Saints. Who was their superstar? Is that uh, Simpson, maybe? Do I even have a Simpson? Yeah, Bryce Simpson. I, w I couldn't figure out if uh, Bryce Simpson was on the Bills or the Saints. I couldn't remember. But yeah, apparently Bryce Simpson, superstar. And the kick's good, so the Saints do take a 7 to nothing lead. The Saints are starting to get some firepower, apparently. And they're already leading 13 to nothing with the extra points yet to come. After George Claiborne get, fumbles the ball. And we're not even 30 seconds into the game, and the Saints have a 14 to nothing lead. It's going to take a lot to come back from, but... I wouldn't say we're out of it. We, they already have max momentum. Our team probably ha is very bad morale-wise. Sean Payton is very happy. The Saints, they have one of the best rosters in the league. I'd say they are a quarterback away. As much as I like Ian Book, he's kind of like Jalen Hurts with us. He's kind of just there. He's not the best guy. You can definitely do better, but at the same time, you can definitely do worse. So it's kind of, do you want to risk it or no? And the Saints are dominating already. Hurts. Incomplete. Dangerous pass. Double coverage to Marquise Brown. And now third and 13 already. We're just under a minute into the game. Jalen Hurts. Looking. He's going deep. He has a man. And he connects with Ridley, and he's all the way down to the 19-yard line. Both these quarterbacks taking deep strikes early. It's an outside toss. Gordon fighting for some extra yards. He only gets two, though. Second and eight now for 17. It's going to be another handoff to Gordon, and he's going to be stuffed at the 18 for a loss of one. And that's David Onyemeta. Oh, he's throwing a fade to the end zone, and they're going to say that's intercepted. They're going to say he comes down with the pass inbound. That is Paulson Adebo. Threw a pass up to, I believe that was Marquise Brown. No, that wasn't. That was whoever number three is, or 13 something. Wasn't quite able to see. I assume maybe Wesley. But the Saints, they're in, a, they're in clear control at the moment. As checking it down to Michael Thomas, he is going to get up to 24 for a gain of four. The Vikings and 
Buccaneers are currently tied at zero apiece. I have not seen the Panthers yet, which could mean bye week for them. Kamara gets the carry. He's going to fight up to the 26 for a gain of two. Now third and four. Ian Book, he's going deep. He has a man. And they're going to say he catches that inbound. That is number 17. That is Darren Church. And the Saints are playing a very risky game. But it is working out for them. That was on 26. That's Saquon Hamp. No, that's for Sean Fenton. Does he come down with the catch? I think he does. It's hard to see that second foot. Oh, that foot's down, yeah. It's going to be a handoff to Kamara. He's going to go up to the 44. It's easy work. It's easy work, and it's coming again. Kamara equips over 100 yards last game. Ian Book looking, surveying, just checks it down to Adam, Tr Adam Trotman. He's going to fight up to the 37. He's going to be about two yards short, but they are in field goal range now. Third and two. And off to Kamara, and he is going to get it up to the 34. Ian Book, the quick throw, that's complete, that's Bryce Simpson. Four on the play. Second and six now from the 30-yard line. Oh, Carolina is playing Baltimore uh, Sunday night. And Grady Jarrett is going to sack Ian Book back at the 35. Third and 11 now. This would be a 52-yard field goal attempt if they were to stay where they are. Ian Book. Looking. Completes it to Kamara. And Kamara's going to get the first down. He's going to be inside the red zone to the 18-yard line. I didn't catch, catch a number, but there was a great block uh, by, I'd assume, a receiver who allowed Kamara to easily get the first down. Ian Book now. Once again, checking it down. That's Simpson. He's over to the 15-yard line as Tampa Bay takes a 7-0 lead over the Minnesota Vikings. Ian Book now checks it down to Kamara. <clears throat> Needs to tackle out the 14. That might do it for court number one. And at the end of quarter one, the New Orleans Saints lead 14 to nothing in the red zone. They're at the 14 yard line. They're in a third and six, though. They do have. Nearly max momentum, or like a, a, a pixel. Book completes. That's Thomas, and they're up to the three yard line. That's gonna be a, and now they have max momentum. First and goal now from the three yard line. Hand off to Kamara, and Kamara's gonna get to the two yard line. That's gonna be second and goal now. Shotgun formation the Saints are in. And incomplete. Adam Trotman had it, was open. Played Deion Jones very well there. And there's a clear gap in the D line. And they're going to give it to Kamara. And he finds that gap. And that is a touchdown. And the Saints lead 20 to nothing with the extra point yet to come. And the Saints lead 21-0 early in the second quarter. George Claiborne returns it. And he's going to be tackled at the 12-yard line. I hate to say it, but I think George Claiborne might be done after that. 
he, he'll be a solid backup receiver, but like he's probably done as a return man. Hurts feeling pressure, and he's gonna be sacked. He's gonna be down at the seven. And this Falcons team cannot catch a break. A second and fifteen now. It's gonna be an outside handoff, but they're all over it. He's gonna be tackled at the six, losing a yard. And third and sixteen. This Saints defense is here to play. They're trying to make a playoff push. I believe they're three and six at the moment. And incomplete, nearly intercepted. Jalen Hurts is one for four. Go to that midfield and returned up to the 49. So they're already on across midfield. And 538 left to go in the half. The Saints could easily pile on a few more points they want. And Kamara almost shooting out Floye Alulukun. Besides him, he really only had Richie Grant as the only other defense. And Kamara probably could have been gone if he was able to juke out Floye Alulukun and Richie Grant. Play action. Ian Book just selecting to throw it away. And that's going to bring up third and four now at the 42. This will be a 59-yard attempt. Book looking, throwing, complete. And he's number 87. I do not know who 87 is. Can we get a, a name for me? Hoffman. Tampa Bay still leads 7 0 against the uh, Minnesota Vikings. As Kamara, he's going to be stopped at the 31 as he loses his yard. Second and 11. It's going to be another handoff to Kamara. And he's going to stiff arm a man. He's going to be up to the 30. He's going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Third and 10 now. Taking it himself, and he's going to slide at the 23. He's going to be just short of the first. But now a 40-yard field goal attempt. Give the Saints a 24-0 lead. And it is good. We're not at the 22. As Los Angeles is beating Green Bay 3 to nothing. Those are two other teams that we have to look out for in terms of the playoff race. It's going to be a handoff to Gordon. He's going to go out to the 25. Gets free on the play. Hurts. Quick pass. It's going to be complete. He's going to go all the way up to the 30. That is Kyle Pitts. And that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Where the Saints lead 24-0. Against the Atlanta Falcons. Third and two. Hurts. Looking. Rolling out. Throwing. And complete to Ridley up to the 47. Hurts. Looking, rolling out, throwing, and incomplete. Tried to throw across his body to, I'd assume, Steve Wesley, but incomplete. Hit one of the offensive linemen. Hurts. Looking. Here's he throws, but that's going to be complete. That's Steve Wesley all the way up to the 26-yard line. Come on, fellas. Hurts. That's complete the pits, and Pitts is going to get out of bounds at the six-yard line. Go, Set up a first and goal. No, that was Ridley, excuse me. Ridley already over 100 yards. And touchdown. That's going to be to number 80. I forget his name, but that is the backup tight end who we traded for. We can watch the replay and hope I remember the name. What's the zoom button? Square.
It's L Springs. I don't remember what the L is. Luke, maybe? We can just look. It's fine. Well, Michael. Uh, we that if you remember, we did do that trade. I believe that was the. I don't. I don't remember his name. But the one cornerback, not Randy Tatum, but the other guy, Michael. And the score is 24 to seven. New Orleans will get the ball back with 51 seconds off. Three timeouts. I like Ben Jenkins. I liked him a lot. It's just we're kind of a one tight end team. Besides, you no, know, for blocking. Ben Jenkins usually got a catch, you know, like every other week. And that is not good enough for us. So we decided we're just going to trade him to a team that could use a tight end. Um, and we're going to get uh, a tight end in return and uh, an, either a player or a draft pick. So we uh, decreased in tight end, but we also increased in cornerback. Where we have... We went from one of the worst to one of the best cornerback groups. If you ask me. I wanted to say our cornerbacks were... AJ Terrell, who's... You gotta intercept that foyer. Uh, AJ Terrell, we have... Uh, who was it? I don't remember the name. He was on the Chiefs. Rashad Fenton, who we just signed to a two-year deal. And the Bucks take a 14-0 lead over the Vikings. And last play of the half here, uh, Ian Book rolling out. Just going to check it down, pads and stats. Uh, we had him. I believe TJ Green was our third. And I don't remember our other guy, but I know we had Cole Pryor. I I, I skipped the halftime show. No! All right, well, we're receiving the ball for a second half. Kind of already know some stuff. You know the Bucks are winning. You know the Panthers are playing later tonight. And other than that, nothing, none of that really matters. Besides, you know, the, I'd say the Rams-Packers are a huge game because those are two 4-4 four and four teams who I believe were 5-3. and three, So, like... We're right ahead of them. It's like a loss here could affect us playoff wise. New York and Seattle, that's going to affect us, but they're not playing yet, so we wouldn't even have to know. It's a handoff to Gordon. And breaking it out wide is Melvin Gordon. He stiffs arms a man. He's up to the 42. That's the first big run I've seen from our team in two weeks. Hurts. Checks it down to Pitts. Up to the 47. Gordon approaching the 500 yard mark. He's doing very solid for an older running back. A bad pass to Wesley. Very well overthrown. Wesley had to jump up for it. Where I believe he only got two. Third and four now from the 48. Uh, Philadelphia, another team that's in the running for a playoff spot. So is Minnesota. Gordon. Oh, hurts. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Your ass is about to be done. That's back-to-back -back bad throws there. Fair catching it, but it's not going to be a fair catch, and he's going to pick it up at the nine as the ball started to bounce for a great punt. Ian Book, he's going to throw across his body, and that's going to be complete up to the 10, 11. I don't know who that is. I can't see. I can't get a name or a number. Then we'll try Trotman. That's why. Getting two on the play from that. Book now. Rolling out. He's throwing deep. He gets hit as he throws, though. One-on-one -on -one coverage. An incomplete. AJ Terrell knocks it out of the hands of, I believe, that was Michael Thomas. And now third and eight from the 11-yard line. As uh, the Raiders lead the Titans 21-7. Book thrown deep across his body again. Incomplete. Intended for Darren Church. 
Also, if you don't remember me saying earlier, our tight end or cornerback room at the beginning of the season was Rashad Fenton, AJ Terrell, Cole Pryor, who's no longer on the team. We put him on our practice squad and the Bills signed him. I really liked him as well. And uh, TJ Green. And I believe we had a fifth guy, but yeah. And now we have Randy Tatum. We have Michael something. AJ Terrell once again. Uh, Rashad Fenton and TJ Green. TJ Green went from our third to fifth. Uh, Rashad Fenton went from our second to fourth. AJ Terrell store number one. But that's how well we improved. That was like the key focus point for us. As not able to hold on to it is Marquise Brown, but that was a great pass by Hurts there. A better play by the defense defender, I guess. Third and 11 now. Hurts. Rolling out as he felt pressure. Is he going to take an... You're a fucking idiot, Hurts. I'm getting upset with Jalen Hurts now. He played so well last week, and he's dropped off dramat dr uh, dramatically. Another great punt by the punter. Like, Hurts has played average to below average the whole season. He puts on one good game. I'm like, man, we might have a guy, like our guy. He's doing okay so far. But, like, he could be doing way better. The the uh, Decision-making-wise. Watching to scramble on a third and 11 for two yards, two, three yards. It's not how you win football games. That play does not work out for the Saints. As we're about to be going into quarter number four here soon, we're going to be down 17 points. It's going to be a lot to come back from. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Book. Turvang throwing deep. It's one on one. An incomplete intended for Michael Thomas. AJ Terrell did not allow that. Fourth and 11 now. That does stop the clock as well. As Minnesota gets on the board, it's now 17 to 7. Fair catching is Claiborne. Up to the 37. Wow, Chase Claypool is on the Vikings now. I didn't know that. A great signing for them. As uh, the Raiders are beating the Titans 28 to 7. Those are two of the worst teams, both in the NFL and AFC, uh, this season. That's gonna do it for quarter number three. Yes, it will. Had to make sure you know. In calling their play. That's why I went so silent. Hurts. Jalen. You had Derek Gore wide open, Jalen. This is make it or break it for Jalen Hurts. Hands it off and getting the first down is Gordon. I don't know what happened. It seemed like Derek Gore and Jalen Hurts had such great connection in week one. As Jalen Hurts, that's... That's horrible. Did a great job to avoid the pocket. You know, get out of the pocket, get some few yards. Why are you running outside?
All right, Denario Henson, let's see what you got. We lost this game. This is our. Uh, this is now just to see what we have in our backup in Denario Henson, who probably start next year. Great job, Deion Jones there, by the way. Trying off the tackle. Jordan Love has had a terrible game. Holy crap. He's 9 for 20 with free interceptions. And yet they're only losing by 7. That's pretty impressive. The Dolphins are beating the best team in the league in the Colts 27-21 record-wise. I'm going to that one. Denario Henson. Our new quarterback plays it smart, throws it away. Second and ten now. Looking. Complete, that's Pitts. He's up to a 22 yard on. First and ten now from the 22 yard on. Looking. Dangerous pass, but complete. That was a smart throw. Just waited a bit too long for it. Four minutes left to go in the game. Denario Henson. To be complete. That is Michael. Don't remember the last name. Springs, well, Michael Springs. It's gonna be a handoff. Plus, we get some no yards there. I really like Denario Henson, animation-wise. He seems so smooth with the animation. That's gonna be complete. That's Wesley up to the 40. Third and five now. Henson, looking, pressure, gets it away, and up to the 43 is Wesley, he's going to be a yard toward the first, and is this going to be a run? It's going to be an outside handoff to Wesley, and that goes nowhere, and that's going to do it. Ian Book, not having the best game today, but... I mean, this defense has really carried him to success this week. The Saints made it their mission to not get swept. And that's exactly what they did. They put up 24 points instantly. There's been a lack of scoring since, but... They've only allowed one touchdown. The defense of the Falcons has done a great job on holding Kamara. Averaging two yards of carry. 52-yard attempt from Will Watts, by the way. And he's short. Was he? That looked very short for me. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it was just short. Had the accuracy. And the Bucks lead this, uh, the Vikings 24 7, so that's going to end it for that game. Way to fall forward, Marquise Brown. It does not get on out of bounds, unfortunately, but. That's complete the pit. Denario Henson putting on a show.
Where do we take getting it out of bounds? 33 seconds left to go. And Ridley gets into the end zone. The Falcons do have a slight chance. They do need an onside kick. I mean, they technically don't, but, like, they do. And... Darren Church. Practically sealing the deal. Who's had a very quiet game today. All I have to say though is Ridley had a very good game. First time does end it by the way. And I mean they're a yard and a half away. So and with Alvin Kamara they have this. And there it is. Nearly broke it big, but now they can just take two kneels because, you know, knowing this game, uh, Falcons will call a timeout. <coughs> the only good note coming out of this is the potential that Denario Henson has and the fact that we might get an, uh, Dev story for uh, Calvin Ridley. Also, uh, if you have not figured out, I have decided not to do USFL content. I have high hopes for the USFL, but at the same time, what I really want to happen is I want to see the XFL and the USFL merge into one league and kind of be a developmental, kind of like baseball league where, you know, it doesn't do as well, but like it's kind of for minor teams, you know, where these young prospects who or people who are trying to get back in the league can kind of prove themselves. Or, can, or like a team, like say they really like this guy, but like they don't have enough room for on the team from they can put him on there. You know, kind of cool. Uh, Ian Book was 17 for 26, 195 in a touchdown. Jalen Hurts 9 for 16, 140 in a touchdown. Denario Hudson 9 for 10 for 97 in a touchdown. Rushing Kamara 17 for 43 in a touchdown. Gordon 11 for 38. Book four, three for four, Wesley two for negative three, and Hertz two for four. Receiving pitch five for fifty, Ridley five for one twenty seven a touchdown. Thomas four for ninety eight in a touchdown. Wesley four for thirty nine. Trotman four for sixteen. Bryce Simpson three for seven. Well, Michael Springs two for seventeen in a touchdown. Darren Church two for forty one. Kamara two for nineteen. Brown one for ten. Hopkins one for two. Hoffman one for twelve, and Gordon one for negative six. Blocking. A sack allowed by Greg Goodell and Justin Skull. So, very good job by the O line in this game. Two tackles for off for Foye, Kuhn, Cole Holcomb, Grady Jarrett, David Onyemeta, and TJ Garner Johnson. One for Wary Gooden, Noah Igbenogane, Cameron Jordan, and Deion Jones. A sack for Cameron Jordan and Cameron Bray. An interception for Paulson Adebo and Martian, Marshawn Lattimore. A forced fumble from James Pratt and a fumble recovery. From someone on the Saints. Field goals. Uh, Josh Lambo missed one, and Ku didn't attempt any punting. Pinion three for 130. Bailey three for 134. Kicking and returning. Simpson two for 46. Claiborne five for 87, and Church one for one. Punt return. Claiborne one for one. Simpson one for zero. The good news is, high potential. We have a recap of the rivalry rematch. Yeah, it sucks, I know. It's okay, Grady. We'll get him next time, hopefully. We do lose 10 morale, but... Um, that, that's fine. Week 11, we head to Las Vegas, Nevada, where we are not going to play this game, by the way.
We are going to do our focus players. Uh, well, he for me, I already know the guys are doing. Uh, oh. Do I have wide receiver at all? No, I don't. Shoot. I did quarterback, didn't I? And I'm going to live to regret that. I did. We're going to go Alan Vahan. Uh, we'll do him. Tight end, do we have any? No, we don't. Do we have any alignment? I don't think we should. We do have a middle linebacker. We'll do Cameron Vereen. Or Vereen. Right outside, we have corner. Ezekiel Gaines, unfortunately, he's not going to fall to us. But a guy that might is Darren Goodwin. Apparently, we have safety. We do get... Oh, we, are, we already chosen free. Who was the other guy we chose in? Oh, it was a linebacker, wasn't it? Okay, I'll confirm that. Yeah, I like that. Okay, we do have 10 staff points. We also had some guys sign off our practice squad. We had Dylan Goodard and Brian Quam again. I don't know why. You know, a team didn't sign him beforehand. But we can now sign Antoine Stuckey. Uh, we can sign Jamichael Bollard. And I believe we can even sign Troy Rivers. So there we go. Yeah, we made, made a little fuse. Uh, weekly strategy, I mean. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll go. They have solid run, bad pass. We'll go outside, and then we'll go, yeah, we'll throw it short, and let's just go straight into it. Come on, sim to training. Do we have any injuries? Um, we do drop the five and four. The Panthers did win from what it looks like. They did. That does kind of hurt us division wise. I don't even think we've played the Panthers yet. Okay, but without further ado, we're just going to advance week. See what happens. And we win 27-16. And the Bucks lose, but the Panthers win. We move up to 6-4. and four. The Saints do lose. They drop to 4-7. and seven. We will be playing the Broncos as well. Not this week. We're going to do the Broncos next week. If I had to take a guess, we're probably going to sim the Broncos. Maybe. We might actually watch it. And then Panthers. Let's look at the stats. Um, Who did the Bucks? Week schedule. Let's go back to last week. Who did the Bucks lost to? I saw them somewhere. Lost to the Niners. Saints lost to the Giants, and the Panthers beat the Chargers. I don't know about the 49ers, but I know the Giants are in the talks. No, oh, I don't want to exit franchise mode yet. Do we have any injuries? Do we, you know, get any injuries from those games? We have not. Okay, that's that's good. Uh, and that's gonna do it. We're gonna quickly take a look here at the standings, view kind of the playoff format. As the Colts did beat the, the Dolphins, they came back and won. NFC, the Cowboys are now the one seed. Bucks are the two seed. 49ers are the free seed, so the 49ers are a team to wreck with. 
Bears are four seed. Uh, Panthers are five. One, two, three, four, five. We're six. Seahawks are seven. And then, if you're curious, AFC, Colts are one. Chiefs are two. Ravens are three. Let's go dig it. The four and six Patriots are the four seed. The Broncos are the five seed. Browns are six. Steelers are seven. And then, you know, it's kind of a race. Dolphins can easily take the division. I mean, any of these teams could take the division in the East. Kind of turning into the Washington uh, football team. Uh, when they made the playoffs and they lost to Tom Brady in the first round. Where it was Taylor Heineke's famous game where... God damn it. Jermichael Bollard. Stupid Bucks. Of course the Bucks would sign our guy. You know what, Bucks? There's no practice squad, guys. You know what, Bucks? Where the heck are you? Who do you have? You have Troy Rivers from us. Yeah, we're going to sign Troy Rivers back. Since they're cheating. Give me Troy Rivers back. He used to be on our practice squad. And you signed him and just put him on yours? Cheaters. Where would Troy Rivers even rank at? He's on the top six, that's for damn sure. Okay, we have to go now to roster. Alright. We're going to quickly put Troy Rivers back on our practice squad. Freaking Buccaneers cheating over here. You can go on the practice squad now. There you go, mate. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. I did. I'll see you guys next time. Unfortunately, we're not able to get to win against the Saints. We got kind of blown out. But we did recover. Get the win against the Raiders. Now, next episode. Um, who knows what's going to happen. I don't know. We're what we're gonna see the Broncos game no matter what, and we might even, we might see the Pampers. What will happen is we'll either watch the Broncos games or we'll sim the Broncos. Okay, let me slow down. We'll either watch the Broncos game and that'll be it, or we'll sim the Broncos game and watch our first Pampers game. No. Uh, I hope you ha also have a good Easter. Um, and goodbye.